what we've been doing is taking Mozilla's new app maker tool that is a really easy way for anybody to make their own mobile apps with just very simple components and buttons and badges that you can pull together and looking at how we can use those for apps for climate change to get in, individual people involved in their own communities or where, or where they are in the world making apps uh, to look at the climate around them and the environment around them. So what we've been doing is we've been ask, uh, telling people a little bit about some of the mobile applications that exist already for doing citizen science, particularly around the climate, around the environment. Now that we're in the era of mobile phones and the web, we've got all these interesting opportunities in the side of citizen science that's that data collection side, where you can use your mobile phone and you can be absolutely anywhere and you can be taking a photo and uploading it to a website that then maps it because you've got the data and location attached to the photo that you took. And maybe in the mobile app itself, you're saying something about what you took the photo of. So you're taking that time to identify a species or you're, or you're making a comment about where you found trash. All of these kinds of opportunities. And we've been asking them for their ideas, for things that they might like to build. We've split up into three different groups working on those different ideas. People got their heads down and drew on flip charts and post-it notes, what it is their idea was and, and all the bits and pieces they would pull together. So this is an app. Uh, that uh, help people share what they see uh, around them. It can be at home, in a garden, in a public space, in the seashore or in the countryside, in the forest, in a, uh, around the river or in the agricultural environment. So they can uh, identify where they are, uh, what is the context, it can be water use, pollution, recycling, etc. And then share a picture and make a comment around what's happening around the water in their environment. The idea is that if you track something and tell people about it, then they might actually do something about the problem. So if you tell them how much water is being wasted each day, or how much general rubbish there is compared to recycling, then they might decide to reduce the amount they're throwing away in the bins every day. So through AppMaker, we would hopefully be able to get measurements for these uh, different topics and then um, be able to place it all as one and give people an idea of how their school is, you know, how their school how their school is affecting the environment around them and how it can help make the world a better place. Um, we're just brainstorming at the moment the ideas around um, making an app to tackle pollution, whether it's um, light pollution, maybe sound pollution, um, and we're just seeing what it can do, essentially. Um, With AppMaker, you can make your own personal app. You design it, you decide what components are in it, and you can share it with your friends when you publish it by just giving them a link or a QR code. So it can stay in a small circle, it can be hyper-local, it can just sit, suit the needs of one person. It's got tons of flexibility, and we're quite excited about that, because a lot of citizen science takes place in small communities around local needs, and it's not something that they want a broadcast wide. It's something that they want for their particular group. But uh, one of the problems with AppMaker at the moment is that there aren't enough uh, components in there to build a complete citizen science app. So today we want to close the gap uh, by uh, creating a, uh, a list of components and maybe co uh, uh, actually coding some components ourselves because uh, some central components were missing like geolocation, and data upload or data download. And the point of today is to continue that, get more ideas about apps from the community and, and get the community to dive in and contribute components.